Hey everybody, this is Rob with AMZ Advisors, and today we're going to be looking at a relatively new program from Amazon Seller Central called Amazon Experiments. And what this program does is it allows you to pretty seamlessly split test different parts of your listing uh, so that you can update content without really having to do anything and you can see which content is performing better. So in this video, we're gonna set up a main image experiment. And so it's important to remember that this feature is only available for brand registered sellers. But if you are brand registered, you should be able to go over to this brands tab right here on the end. You can choose the option to manage experiments and that will take you to the dashboard. So once you get into the dashboard, you'll see your active experiments and total experiments. You can use this little button here to toggle back and forth if you only wanna show the active experiments. And within this dashboard, you have three options for creating experiments and you can find them using this create a new experiment button. Once you click here, this will open up a dropdown and you'll have options for A plus content, product title, and main image. And for this example, I'm gonna show you how to set up an experiment for a main image. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click right here on main image, and you're gonna get a pop-up window here that's gonna allow you to browse your catalog and look for an ASIN or a product. You could either search by your, your title or your ASIN to find it, uh, or you can choose a product from the list that they have automatically populated here. So we're gonna do this product right here. And so what you can do next, since it's eligible, is you can click the blue select reference ASIN button. And what this is gonna do is have you name your experiment first. So I'm gonna call it main image. And then we're just gonna do dry erase alphabet and number flashcards. All right, so after you name your experiment, you're gonna have options for your duration here. They have options between four, six, eight, and 10 weeks. Uh, you can see the default is 10 weeks. They also give you your start date and your end date. Once you choose an option, your end date will be automatically adjusted. You can see if I change this to eight weeks, we'll go seven, 12. For this experiment, we're gonna let this one run for four weeks. So I'm gonna choose four weeks for my duration. After this, they want you to put in a hypothesis just so you can kind of keep track of what your goal was and, and what you were trying to do. So changing X into Y will Z. So for this example, I'm just gonna say changing, if I can type changing, our main image will result in higher click through rates and drive more traffic to the detail page. Okay, so that's a very basic hypothesis there. And the next thing you're gonna to have to do is you, it's gonna show you what your ASINs are that are enrolled. It's gonna show you version A, which is the main image that's currently being used. It's gonna ask you to upload a new image, which will be your version B. So I already have another image. It's basically the same thing. This is a tough product to kind of have a different angle. Um, but what we did was we just took a head on shot of the box, which you'll see in a second. Go to my downloads. You can go to your files wherever you saved the image and you can pop that in. So I'm gonna click upload. We'll let that process for a second. And now you can see we've got an image straight on here and this one kind of looks like it's a box. So this is kind of an interesting test. It's very minor. If you have a different type of product, you know, maybe you wanna change the angle or something a little bit more dramatic. Um, this is about the only difference we can really do with this product. So it's still worth testing though. So the reason these experiments are so beneficial is obviously because if you're gonna split test this stuff on your own, or A-B test it, some people call it, uh, you're gonna have to go in here to the back end to this listing and you're gonna have to change the image uh, periodically. You're gonna have to do it for equal time periods. And then to see what's working better, obviously you're gonna have to go over to your reports. You're gonna have to get reports for different uh, date ranges. You're gonna have to look at your click-through rates and your conversions and, and all of that stuff. So 
At the end of the day, this dashboard just simplifies that entire process. It, automa it will automatically switch between your version A and your version B. It will give them equal time over your four week duration. And during even during the experiment, you'll be able to see the results in real time of what's happening. And then at the end, obviously, you'll have an answer on one way or another. And again, if you have more of a generic product, um, you can continually test this. You can do this over and over again, uh, different angles of the product. And maybe one thing to consider is going to the search results page for some of the main keywords that you're targeting, uh, seeing how the products on the first page are being shown, uh, testing that against what you're doing currently if it's not already pretty similar. So once you have your, your version B updated, you have it named, you've set all of your your duration. You could you could change the start date if you want. I want this to start as soon as possible. Um, so we're going to leave it where it is. And then once you put in your hypothesis and, and all of these other fields, you can go ahead and you can click to schedule the experiment. And once you've done that, it's going to populate here uh, in your total experiments section until the active until it becomes an active experiment. So you can see that this one was submitted. It's pending content approval. And uh, once it's successfully scheduled, it will say scheduled successfully instead. And um, and that's pretty much it. So now all you have to do is once it's running and it's live, you can come in periodically check. You can see how it's performing, which version A is performing better than version B or vice versa. And, and you can go from there and hopefully that will help you increase your click through rate in this case and, and then drive more traffic to the listing and ultimately increasing your sales uh, in your top line there. So if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate if you can like it and you can also subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of other videos doing all sorts of walkthroughs and tutorials on how to do stuff on Amazon. We also have a lot of blog topics and longer form conversations. Um, anything and everything Amazon related. And if you guys need help with it, your Amazon account, you can check out our website, amzadvisors.com. From there, you can browse our services, but we are a full service consulting agency. We manage accounts A to Z, top to bottom. We do the whole thing for clients on a retainer basis. Uh, if you're not interested in a retainer, we do also offer one-off content services in terms of listing copy, graphic design for your gallery photos, A-plus content, storefront creation, and we also do video production now as well. Uh, we manage advertising separately as well. And um, anything you guys need, Amazon and Amazon related, just come to our website. You can book a call with one of our experts and we'd be happy to learn about your situation and figure out any ways to, to help you guys. So thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.